Hi everyone, I'm so happy you're here today. These are the swaps that I did for my team swap and we're gonna make it today, but look how cute it is. Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're gonna make my swap card that I did with my team for the new Celebration mini brochure. And I decided I wanted to use the Trees for Sale stamp set along with the tree lot dies. So you can see this cute little camper here, but this is the way the card opens up. So it holds a little gift card over here on the side. Isn't that cute? So we're gonna make this card today. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I went ahead and did all the die cutting and all the, the pieces to make the trailer and the stamping for the tree and stuff, but I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. This is the stamp called Trees for Sale. This is actually in the holiday catalog the stamp set and then you have the coordinating die which is the tree lot dies free in celebration brochure okay so you can get both of them right now currently the celebration is ending at the end of august so these dies will hopefully be available through then but they are while supplies last and then this stamp set will be in the holiday catalog which will be good through december okay so let's go ahead and get our pieces like I said, I cut out all the little pieces that we're gonna need. And I'm gonna assemble the trailer with you to show you how it goes together. It's so cute. So let me get all my pieces here. I don't wanna lose anything on the pieces because every little piece goes to something. All right, so now this piece is just for stamping the So Very Merry. We're gonna use the Cherry Cobbler for that. And then let's give you the base of the card. So let the Cherry Cobbler is your four and a quarter by five and a half piece of it's like a card front and then this piece is cut at four and a quarter by nine and we're going to score that together then this piece of designer paper let me show you where that came from and this paper is also a pack of paper that's in the celebration mini so it's the silver and gold six by six designer paper so you can see that there's stripes and there's dots in the gold and then there's stripes and then i use the dots for my cards so you would normally get the dots and the stripes and the silver and the gold in both so that was a free item for celebration so i'm using that and you can see the silver now this isn't double sided on this paper okay so i cut this piece at four by five and a quarter that's for the front of the base of the card then this these two pieces are for the the little trifold part of the gift card holder this piece is cut at two by four and a quarter and then this is for the gift card part this is cut at two and seven eighths by two and i went ahead and used the i think this is almost the smallest here let me measure this die out this is about one and three eighths size circle that i used to cut out the little finger hole to put the gift card into right there hopefully you can see that Okay, so that's for the gift card. And then I also have a piece of vellum, and this is just a scrap piece. This is cut at one inch by two and five eighths, but the size really doesn't matter. What you want is a big enough size of vellum to go across your two windows on your trailer, and then anything extra, you're just gonna cut off and remove that so it's not sticking out through the front, okay? All right, now let's go ahead and grab our trimmer. We're gonna score. Okay, so we're going to score our four and a quarter by nine piece. We're going to score this on the nine inch side at three and six. Okay, that's it. Oh, one more piece for the basic white piece for the inside here. I forgot this piece. This piece can be for more stamping and actually to sign the card if you want. This piece is cut at two and three quarter by four okay so that's the basic white for the inside all right so let's go ahead and fold our score lines and get my bone folder and of course with any fun fold i typically want to fold it both ways just so that the card folds nice and for this instance it's going to like keep the card somewhat closed without adding a belly band so really press on that with your bone folder to keep it somewhat closed like that. Well, it's actually gonna go like this, okay? All right, now let's go ahead and decorate the card. We're gonna go ahead and put our designer paper onto the cherry cobbler 
And I'm just going to use the stamp and seal, but you could use liquid glue if you want. Okay, so there's the base. Now the front of the card, we're going to add this strip. This is your two by four and a quarter inch designer paper from that polka dotted design to kind of tie that with the base of the card. So it's just going to go along the left hand side of the trifold card like that. All right, and then this piece is going to go on the inside on the middle section of the trifold. And of course, if you want to stamp or anything on this, you might want to do that before you put this on the inside. But for my swaps, I didn't add a greeting or anything onto the inside. So they can reuse it if they want. Okay. All right. Now we're going to be decorating the trailer. So there's multiple steps to this trailer. So you'll see here that I cut out the main base of the trailer is pool party cardstock. And then I went ahead and cut out a basic black piece with the same trailer. And we're going to use the tire and the trailer hitch. So let me get my paper snips. And I'm going to cut the trailer hitch off of the end here of the trailer, just like that. So there's my trailer hitch. Hopefully you can see that. Get as close as you can to the trailer. And then also I'm going to cut the tire. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up the sides of the tire. And then there's a little, in, I guess, embossed little edge here where these layers are going to go on to your trailer. So when I cut my tire, I don't want to go past that mark because I want all that to be covered up underneath that basic white layer. So I'm going to keep that right underneath that line. So you should have just the tire there. And of course, you're not going to see the embossed piece because it is black. But once I add the little inside wall of the tire, you'll be able to maybe see it pop out. All right, now we're going to grab our liquid glue. And what I'm going to do is I went ahead and cut out the window of the trailer with a piece of basic white to get the inside of the tire. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to add a little bit of liquid glue to the center of the tire, just a little tiny bit. And then I'm going to add my, like my white center of the tire to make that pop. Just like that. And I'm using my take your pick tool because it's got a putty end on here. And now we're going to glue that piece to this tire section. So I'm just going to add some glue. I'm going to take my tire and I'm going to line that up with the pool party piece. Just like that. So you want to also add your trailer hitch with the basic black before we add the top and the bottom of the decorative edge. So I'm going to flip this over. Whoop. This is really tiny. This is where the take your pick tool is really nice. So then you can line that up again with the pool party underneath there. Line it up. And then of course we want to set that aside to let that dry a little bit. All right, now we're going to take our liquid glue and we're going to put it on the bottom section, but not over top of the door because you'll see on this piece here, which is in the die. Let me show you the die. So in case it's a little bit confusing on what this piece is, it's right here. It looks like it's actually like a sailor hat, kind of, sort of. So this is the two pieces. I was really thinking of using like the silver foil sheet to kind of give it that retro look. But this is the piece that you're going to run through the die cut machine and you're going to get both pieces. So you're going to get the bottom piece, which is goes over the door. So you can see why you don't want to add the glue over top of the door because the glue is going to show. And then this piece is also the top. And you'll see the difference on the back and the front because the front is more like a pleated or a siding kind of a look to it. So those are going to go on to the pool party piece just like that. So we're going to go ahead and put our glue onto the pool party piece. Remember not to go over the door. And you don't really need a lot of glue. And then a little scribble of the glue on the top. And then we're just going to use my take your pick tool. Now set that. Now see how that 
white piece covers up that tire and also the the part that connects the trailer hitch it kind of covers all that up and then we're going to take the top piece and put that on so cute <laughs> this is definitely paper piercing at its best i do believe okay so now we're going to go ahead and flip this over and I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue around the windows. This is where we're going to put our vellum. So we have like a little frosted window look going on since it's a Christmas scene for a Christmas card. We're going to take that piece of vellum. We're going to set that right over top of both of the windows. And then we're just going to remove the extra from the front side. And I like to undercut a little bit so I can make sure I get it all cut off. But nobody's going to see the back side. But that's the back side. So you can see what it looks like. So you can see that it's kind of like a frosted window there. All right. Now it's just a matter of decorating it for the Christmas season. We're going to add a little bit more liquid glue around the little pothole here for our wreath. And I used the old olive cardstock for that right here. And then that will fit right over top of the window. And then I'm going to add a little bit more, uh, just a little squeeze of the glue. And I'm going to add the Christmas bow to that. <laughs> and then for my banner, this is all in the die collection too. The wreaths and these little banners. They also have a little die to cut like Christmas lights if you want to do that too cute it's such an adorable little die collection all right and then on the back side you don't need a lot of glue with this now you could use your tweezers if you want i'm just going to use my fingers and just touch on the banners now remember we have the vellum there so that's kind of going to be what it's going to attach to and then i'm just going to drape that over the window just like that make sure you press that glue down inside of the the window there and then whatever's hanging over i just snipped off there and there's your trailer isn't it cute oh my gosh i love it okay let's go ahead and do some stamping first let's stamp the so very merry this is the stamp set we're using for the greeting so very merry for the trees for sale and we're also stamping the trees i'm going to show you how i did that too all right so but first we're going to go ahead and stamp our greeting with the cherry cobbler and this piece is three inches wide because I want it to be the same width as your trifold here. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp the so very right along the bottom, and I'm just going to hand cut that out. Let me pull this a little bit closer to me so I can see. So that's so very merry. And then we're going to go ahead and cut that out. You can cut you can cut this somewhat close to the greeting, but I'm going to raise it up because my trailer is going to be sitting on top of that a little tiny bit. OK, and now let's go ahead and stamp our tree. So I have the medium sized tree on one block. So I have the solid image and then I have the detailed image, one on either side. And we're going to use the Garden Green Classic Ink. And I'm going to grab another piece of basic white. Now, this is for the scrap. Remember, I'm just going to show you how I did it. So I'm going to stamp the, the solid image first in the garden green. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink it up, and then I'm going to stamp off to make a little bit lighter shade of the green. So stamp it off, and then I'm going to stamp onto the cardstock. Okay, and then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to use the detailed image and I'm going to stamp that one full color. So we're going to ink it up with the garden green and then with this being a photopolymer stamp set, I can see right where to stamp. And then that gives you that two-tone tree. Isn't it cute? Hmm, I love it. All right, so then what I did after that is I actually cut two trees out for the project. I cut the larger one, so this would be the larger and then this is the medium size. And then there's also even a small tree, which is in the stamp set too. Okay. So what I did is I took the medium size die 
and then you line that up and then send that through the stamp and cut and emboss machine and that's it so i got the two trees already cut out let me grab those my other two trees so cute all right now let's go ahead and put our so very merry on first now i want to put this somewhat kind of low because then we're going to put the trailer here but then we also have the tall tree which is going to be over here to the left and then the smaller tree over on the right so let me grab some dimensionals I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of the trees and the trailer. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm just going to put one dimensional on the top of both of the trees. And then three dimensionals on the back of the trailer. And you want to strategically put the dimensionals so, of course, they don't show. Or maybe one more on the wheel down here. Yeah, so maybe four dimensionals. Okay, so peel off the backings of our trees and our trailer. I'm going to go ahead and add the greeting with the stamp and seal. We're just going to place this a little less, or a little, I guess a quarter of the way up from the bottom, right about there. Then we're going to pop both of the trees up. Now, since this isn't the size of the card, it does overhang onto the base like that just a little bit so I'm gonna overhang it just a smidge over to the left because it's not going to interfere with the card opening and closing and then this one is going to be over here on the right hand side and then we're going to take our trailer and just position that right above the greeting but I'm trying to not interfere with the greeting as far as the wheel and the trailer hitch interfering with the so very merry isn't that cute and then i'm going to go ahead and put the pocket piece of the designer paper i'm going to put adhesive only on the two sides and the bottom remember this is a pocket so you want your gift card to slide in from the front we're going to open that up and then this is going to go on the third panel of this cute little card so you're just going to do your adhesive on the two sides and then the bottom and then your gift card should fit in there let me grab a gift card i got a gift card here i'm just going to slide that into the pocket it doesn't have to go all the way down because as long as it's sticking up there you know so cute all right now we're just going to go ahead and put this on to the base of the quarter sheet of cardstock and then that was my swap now I did add some iridescent rhinestones, so let me grab those. Now one of the requirements for our swapping is that you have to have at least one accessory. So that could be ribbon, of course it could be glitter. But um, I'm going to use the iridescent rhinestones and I'm just going to add three along the top. Just to add a little bit more sparkle to the silver, which looks like kind of like snow effect of the card isn't that cute now you could also add another panel of the basic white to the back which i would cut that to be four by five and a quarter if you wanted more of a place to sign and then stamp another christmas greeting there so cute all right let me show you the other ones that i completed for the swap here are all the swaps that i needed to complete the team swap that signed up for the celebration mini aren't they cute all together love them all right so if you have any questions please let me know don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like today's video and then don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so you don't miss any future videos okay see you later bye